Okay, here we are. The indictment of the former president of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump, and his pal, <coughs> Alpine Mata. Excuse me if I didn't get his name right. But the defendant, Donald J. Trump, was the 45th president of the United States. The operative word there being was. He held the office from January 20th, 2017 to January 20th, 2021. Those are important dates, because he wasn't president after January 20th, 2021. Contrary to what him and some of his supporters claim, he lost the election for president and was no longer president. As president, Trump had lawful access to the most sensitive classified documents and national defense information gathered known by the United States government, including information from the agencies compromised the United States intelligence community and the United States Department of Defense. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm familiar with all them people. Over the course of his presidency, Trump gathered newspapers, press clippings, letters, notes, cards, photographs, official documents, and other materials in cardboard boxes that he kept in the White House. Among the materials Trump stored in his boxes were hundreds of classified documents. The classified documents Trump stored in his boxes included information regarding defense and weapons capabilities of both the United States and foreign countries, the United States nuclear program, the potential vulnerabilities of the United States and its allies to military attack. Now read that again. That basically right there is what they're saying is this is a blueprint on how to, if he's going to attack the United States, these are the weaknesses that they would, or this report would point out, which stands the reason you want to know where you're weakest at and maybe what the, you know, build stuff up there, but this is, this is basically a blueprint, what they're talking about. It's a blueprint to attack the United States. Somebody wanted to attack the U.S., this would be handy to have, because they know where all our weaknesses were. The unauthorized disclosure of these classified documents could have put at risk national security of the United States, foreign relations, the safety of the United States military, and human sources, and the continued viability of sensitive intelligence collection methods. And what they mean here is, because it became known that these documents exist and the information in it, that the people that have been exposed now will know where it came from, and those people will be in what, I guess, the intelligence community would be burned, which means they would no longer be valuable as sources of information, or worse yet, they might even be ground up and executed by the government. Uh, that's happened a few cases in countries like Russia. So, yeah. At 4 p.m. on January 20th, 2021, Trump ceased to be president. He sure as heck did. Contrary to what his supporters claim, he lost the election and departed the White House with a bunch of boxes down to Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, where he maintained his residence. Yeah, because the people in New York got tired of him and he decided to move to Florida. Were they in love with him? They in love with Trump? Let's see. Mar-a-Lago Club was an active social club. Oh, yeah, huh? They hosted all kinds of these events, had thousands of people in and out, blah, blah, yeah. We know that. On two occasions, Trump showed classified documents to others as follows, and they have a description here of being at Bedminster and showing some kind of invasion plan to, I don't know, some, whoever, one of his acquaintances, and Trump showed a representative of his political action committee, military operation thing, plan. The FBI and grand jury investigation can still is continuing to be for attention. Basically, what this is talking about is they asked him a couple times to turn over this stuff, and he never would, and then they finally went down there and got some of it with a subpoena, and then he claimed he had it all, and then he didn't. They still had more, and they claimed there's still more missing. But anyway, the cause of certification to be submitted by the FBI, blah, 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 has a whole bunch of stuff here. But what I find interesting 
is the actual, this is his co-conspirator, apparently some Mata guy, apparently his, some U.S. Navy dude, well that's an embarrassing to find out, call the Navy guy myself, what the heck is this dude doing? Anyway, apparently he's moving these boxes around back and forth and hiding a bunch of them from the FBI when they come down there to get this stuff back. And they had stuff labeled top secret, secret, and confidential. But what I found really interesting here, when the vulnerability of or threat to specific classified information was exceptional and the normal criteria for determining eligibility for access to classified information was insufficient to protect the information from unauthorized disclosure, the United States Special Access Program, SAP, well that's unfortunate for the English, prefer to protect the classified information. Uh, it's just about, this is basically a bunch of procedures. This shit is a secure thing where supposedly some of these documents are only supposed to be looked at and basically they're secure rooms. I guess there was no cameras and they don't allow you to take photographs or any of this stuff. It's supposed to be ultra secure, like something out of Get Smart, I reckon. I don't know, maybe they don't shit. But apparently that's where they handled some of these documents. Well, let's continue on this very interesting thing here. Executive branch departments and agencies. Oh, well, this is all the different agencies. There's CIA, NSA, I forget how many agencies. Here they are. Apparently, he had documents from the CIA, Department of Defense, National Security Agency, that's the NSA, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. Wow, that sounds like Space Force or something. The National Reconnaissance Office, something to do with space, I'm sure. Department of Energy, of course, the Department of State and Bureau of Intelligence and Research. Well, naturally, since they do that kind of stuff. And let's see, Trump's public statement. Trump stated, in my administration, I'm going to enforce all laws concerning the protection of classified information. And he goes out here to make a whole bunch of these statements about how he's going to be tough on anybody who's leaking classified information. We also need the best protection of classified information. Service members here in North Carolina have risked their lives to acquire classified information and intelligence to protect our country. <sighs> anyway, let's go down here. <coughs> These are a bunch of incidents, apparently they found these boxes, they got pictures of boxes on the stage here, in one of his ballrooms, I'm not familiar with his property, I'm sure all the Russian agents are though, I'm sure they toured and explored his property a lot, with these boxes sitting around down there. We can definitely make it, well yes, the conversation about moving the boxes around he supposedly had, this is all the evidence this man submitted, this is Jack Smith that submitted to the court to even justify bringing these charges. But let's go down here and see what the actual charges are. Some of them are very interesting. We looked at some. This wasn't done by me, this was him, all sorts of stuff. Pages one, look, hmm, wait a minute, let's see here. Yeah, I just found you that amazing, totally runs my case, you know. Hmm. Except it's like highly confidential. Yeah. Secret, this is secret information. Look at this, you, oh brother, this is Trump talking? So he knew, oh, oh my good, how did he, no wonder he couldn't find a defense attorney down there. What a dummy. Anyway, let's scroll on down here, do all this. Trump's production of 15, yeah, he gave me some boxes up. Tried to hide a bunch of them. Put these hidden in a storage room. I like the one he had though with the uh, photocopy machine in the same room. That way it's real convenient. You don't have to go look for one and carry a box of papers around. You just turn around right there and copy them on the copy machine. I saw you put boxes. Yeah, this is more of them moving boxes around and hiding them from the investigators and coming out with a search warrant. False certified. Yeah, they told the FBI that they didn't have any more of them documents. They still got some missing as far as I know. Don't know how many they really went to. But I want to see exactly what he has been charged with. Counts 1 through 31. 
willful retention of national defense information. Well, I would say so, since we had blueprints on how to attack the United States, if somebody took a mind to. Top secret special handling, top secret special handling. We were laying around in a bathroom. And of course, a, a Russian spy wouldn't know how to get into a locked bathroom because, you know, they wouldn't have that kind of training in spy school. They'd all be like, oh no, bathroom door locked. Now what I'll go do? Mm. Brother, are these people stupid? Who got this stuff laying around at a country club in Miami, Florida, with thousands of people coming? They even have a picture of him on a golf course with a Chinese agent. I wonder what she was doing down there. I'm sure she found a good reason to hang around the bathroom a lot. Brother. Count 32, conspiracy to obstruct justice. Well, I would guess so. They are moving in boxes all over the place and trying to hide them and talk about trying to pull stuff out of there where they going to hide them at. Suggesting that Trump attorney, I hid or destroyed documents called for by May 11th subpoena. Why can't you just give this stuff back to the government? Count 33, withholding a document or record. Yeah, that's what they call it when you're going to get it back. Corruptly concealing a document or record. Yeah, you're trying to hide them, tell them you didn't have it. Concealing a document in a federal investigation. Uh, they were investigating and he wouldn't hide them. And what do we got here? Count 36. He you can see it. Well, he had people moving boxes all over his model logger. Count 37. False statements and representations. Well, yeah, he told them they had everything. Come to find out, they did Oh, whoops. Count 38. False statements and representations. Yeah, see, they lying on it. What they come good at lying. Oh, poor Walteen Nasser. She's probably thinking, I didn't sign up for any junk. I don't even know this story. And there's a bunch of more conversation. Let's get down here, Jack Smith. He already threatened his dude's wife or something. <laughs> Certificate of trial or something. I don't know what all this must be. I do hereby certify I consider the allegations of the indictment a number of defendants a number of various sounds like boring stuff. Uh some check. I don't know what this is. No. No, is this a potential death penalty case? No. I don't know. Some of them old things about treason did call for the death penalty, but I guess they were charging with espionage and it's not. United States District Court penalty sheet. Oh, this ought to be good. Let's see. For counts 1 through 31, he could draw maximum term of imprisonment of 10 years. Ouch. That's 310 years, I say. Count 32, conspiracy to obstruct justice. He could get 20 years. Well, that's 330 years. Count 33, he could get 20 years for withholding the document for records. Good. We do make the rest 40 plus 310, that's 350 years. You see. And here's another 20 years on count 34 for corruptly concealing a document or a record. It could be a pretty serious offense. Concealing a document in a federal investigation, another 20 years on count 35. Count 36, five years. Oh, whew. That's a break on 36 there. What's that for? Scheme to conceal. Oh, well, he just schemed in there. Didn't too many years. False statements and representations. He could get five years for tribulation. Wow. Man, that's a lot of years. Oh. That's stuff on the precedent. 